Who is God? What is he like? What does he do? These are some great questions that you and I have all had. Hmm. So how do, we, how do we answer that question? How do we figure that out? Well, let's try to make it a more personal, easy to understand example, because God is a lot like you and I. So how do we get to know other people or figure out how to describe other people? Hmm. Well, it's usually by what they do and how they think and how they feel is kind of are good describers of, of who people are. For example, if somebody is hungry all the time, they want to eat all the time, we might describe them as hungry people. If someone is cold all the time and wears a sweater when it's 85 degrees out, like my wife, we can call her a, a cold person or a person who feels cold all the time. And more fundamental things in terms of emotions, if somebody does a very good job of loving everybody around them, we might call them a loving person. For me, I get very excited very easily. My voice gets really loud. I, I start to almost shout because I'm so excited and intense. So people usually call me an excitable person. If we're playing video games, and we can't make it to the next level, or we keep losing to the same team or to our friends, and we get super angry about it, and we are continually Ugh. getting angry after playing video games, people might call us an angry person. And other things, like if, there, if somebody's great at sports and does well in everything that they do, whether it be football, soccer, gymnastics, whatever it is, we might call them an athletic person. If somebody is the smart person of the class, they always get straight A's or 100% or they do the best on tests all the time. We might call them the smart person or the school person. So how do we describe God? How does he describe himself? How do others talk about God? Well, this can be found in Exodus 34, 6 in which it says, the Lord, the compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness. These are descriptions of who God is. This is God talking about himself, about who he is. And the first word he uses is compassion. Now, what do we think compassion means? What it is, is seeing someone in trouble and doing something about it. Seeing someone in trouble and doing something about it. Taking on somebody else's hurts and making it our own is often what compassion is. For example, in the Old Testament, the Israelites were enslaved by Egypt, dominated in every way by Egypt, and they hated where they were at. God, the God of compassion, saw them in their struggles and strove to fix it by sending Moses. The most compelling and most foundational situation of compassion that we see in the Bible is the person of Jesus. And in it, Jesus himself feels compassion all the time when he's around sick people, when he's around tormented people, when he's around people that don't feel included, he does things to fix it because he is a God of compassion. And the ultimate expression of compassion is found in Jesus' sacrifice on the cross. Because God saw our problem in that we couldn't be together with God because of the wrong things that we do in our lives on an everyday basis. So he sent Jesus fix it, to die on the cross in our place so that we wouldn't have to die and we could then be with him for forever. And that is the ultimate expression of compassion, seeing a problem and then fixing it, is the person of Jesus who died on the cross. So who is God? How do we think of him? 
How do we describe him? The first word that we need to use is that God is the God of compassion. He uses that to describe himself. We can see that through his actions in history. And number three, it is the most common word associated with God in the Old Testament and the New Testament. It is this God of compassion. So God is a God of compassion. And so let's think about that this week when during our bedtime prayers or during our prayers before dinner, that we need to thank God that he is a God of compassion and, and recognize that about him. And this is the start of a very short series in which we are talking about some of the key words that describe God. And that will impact how we view him and maybe how we view other people as well. I'm excited for it and I hope you are too. I will see you guys next time, same time, same place. See ya.